a few YouTubers have come together to talk about old Max, and since it's March, the event is called March and Tosh. I'll link to a playlist below when one becomes available. Today I want to talk about Blue SCSI, an open source SCSI hard drive alternative. So this is a project I've been following for a while on 68k MLA. It's an open source project that reproduces SCSI hard drives with a microcontroller, in this case a low cost STM32F, also known as the Blue Pill, and the project has been called Blue SCSI. Now SD based SCSI adapters are nothing new, and they have been around for a few years, but what stopped me getting them was the, their price. If you just want to get an old Mac up and running, popping down 150 euro for an adapter is kind of rough. The goal of this project is to make them cheap, and by that metric they are a huge success. I bought this one as a kit, and I built this one out of parts I had lying around. Just like a, an old SD adapter. And I'll go through to make it at the end of the video. All you have to do is drop a HDA hard drive image onto the FAT32 formatted SD card. Call it a name which defines its SCSI ID and that's it. You can have up to 7 hard drives emulated at once. Like other SCSI SD card adapters, this can be powered from the SCSI bus directly. So let's try it out and run some benchmarks. Okay, so what kind of performance can we expect from this? Let's see. We'll benchmark the mechanical one first. So for the real mechanical hard drive, we have 1024 kilobytes a second read and 605 kilobytes a second write. So the former on the STM32 emulates a quantum fireball. It's configurable by a text file, so you can change it to whatever you want. But um, for the sake of testing here, we have it as a quantum fireball. So while the seek time is much faster than the mechanical drive, the throughput is a bit lower and that might improve with a faster machine, but for the moment um, I'm happy with that. So if you want one of these yourself, you can buy direct from Eric Helgeson. I got mine as a kit and it was $25 per shipping. If you want to build one, 
you can get a Blue Pill STM32 for about $7 or thereabouts and compile the source code yourself and just wire the pins directly to a 50 or 25 pin connector. To get the source code, head to his GitHub, download the code as a zip and extract that to a folder. This is a Visual Studio Code project on Platform IO. So download and install Visual Studio Code, then install Platform IO, open the project folder and build the project. It will show you a path to the bin file. Then you get the STM32 cube programmer. You will have to create an account to download that. You can then program the STM32 over USB to serial by wiring up as shown here. To finish off the board, there are 25 pins on the SCSI port six on the SD card and the pinouts are on the GitHub. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching and, and with that I'll leave you with a big five and a quarter inch SCSI drive spinning up and slowing down. Thank you. Bye. You can really feel the gyro effect. <laughs>